Hello viewers, update 1.35 has just dropped on Gran Turismo 7. Let's take a look at it and I'll give you my thoughts on it as well. So as you can see on the screen, we've got a couple of cars, three new cars added into the game. The Mitsubishi Lancer, Subaru Impreza and the Aston Martin Valkyrie, which is a pretty cool addition. I think the Valkyrie, an interesting one for sure. So you can see here the full details of this update and there's quite a lot. To get through lots of little things here on this one nothing huge i would say no track disappointingly and it's been a few months now since we've last had a track which for me is a little bit worrying i'd like to know your thoughts if you jump into the game we have the 2004 impressor always a bit of a fan favorite car i think this one so let's get it bought shall we the mitsubishi they just added is a bit older so it's in the used car section and here it is hundred thousand credits and as for the Aston Martin, here it is, 4 million credit. Now this car has a special place in my heart because I was able to have a passenger ride in one with uh, Nico Hulkenberg last year, which was a very cool experience. In fact, it was the racing version of this car. And if we jump into sport mode, it is the new time trial. So let's give it a go, shall we? This car has an overtake button, so you do want to map it in the options menu. Now, obviously this is a very quick car. Yeah, okay, brakes aren't the... Brakes aren't as strong as they could be. <laughs> but it is a very, very capable machine, this. We're going to be braking like 150. No, that is way too late. So, I mean, this is almost like LMP1 kind of speed of a car. Maybe a tiny bit slower. But it'll certainly be quicker than a GT3 car around this track. At least if I drive it properly. Right, first lap 125. Second lap 19.9. You're going to have to let me know if you want to see a proper full on time trial with this. I've been making quite a lot of time trial videos recently. Ooh, okay, a few laps there. 18.7, I think that's a gold. It's a gold for now, but I probably will have to improve it. That's a fun car. I do actually enjoy driving that car. So next up, as ever, there are more events on the World Circuits mode. And then we come to Music Rally, the much forgotten mode. So I don't think I've really even gone on this since the game launched. And, you know, at the beginning, March 2022, you know, 15 months ago now, Got all the gold medals but now there's another six events so let's try and do one of these and give it a go a song cannot be selected while in broadcast mode oh, of course because of the copyright i turn broadcast mode on which stops all the copyright songs playing but let's turn it off and get copyright striked i'm going to mute the music the actual music and play a different song just you can you can just pretend but while we play this mode i suppose we can talk about it because Music Rally is a really weird one for me. It was much sort of shouted about before the release of the game. But to be fair, like, does anyone really care much about this mode? I, I don't really know. I think if it had like proper leaderboards where you could have a look at every single person on the leaderboard, then it would kind of be worth trying to beat your score. But apart from that, it's kind of just one of those forgotten parts of the game for me at least but you know you let me let me know what you think and there we go 5.18 miles the crowd goes absolutely ballistic oh yeah let's watch the replay guys this will be amazing so this is the issue right there's only um like a friends leaderboard if it had a full leaderboard of global rankings then there might be a reason to come back and like try and improve your score. Yes, you can try and improve your, against your friends, but what if you've got no friends? Music Rally is a strange mode to me. I don't really ever go on it, but let me know your thoughts. What else have we got then? A couple more escape locations, a couple more cafe menus, a couple more characters in the cafe as well. As you can see there at the bottom of the page, 
As ever, all the equipment I'm using is linked in the description below, so take a look. They do have some good deals on the, um, the DD Pro at the moment, so do take a look at that. So number eight is quite an interesting point. It regards the payments for manufacturers and Nations Cup. So if we go into sport mode, go down to championships. Uh, let's take a look at the current manufacturers. So you can see here, it says provisional reward, 4.8 million credits. So the 4.8 million is based up of four different uh, factors. So your, your rankings based on your location, secondary area, main area, manufacturer ranking, and then your regional ranking. So based on where you are in each of those, you will get a different amount. So a maximum of 12 million credits if you got top 5% on all of them, which is pretty good. And let's be fair, right? Sport mode has way too few credits being given out for races. And it might seem like a lot, but at the same time, let's not forget that this is for a whole championship, which takes a couple of weeks to do. So I think it's a good amount. I think it's the right amount. I don't think it's too much or too little. There's lots of other little fixes here. Uh, multiplayer, physics simulation models for the cars. Now this update does have quite a lot of minor changes i would say as you can see here i mean i'm not going to go through all of them but one that did catch my eye is uh this one here number seven race screen and this one is just a small thing it's a, it's a very small thing within each race when you go into the pit lane so for example daily race c this week requires the use of the hard and the soft tire so we're going to come in here and change from the hard and you'll see it says mandatory tires, soft. So now I know which tires I need to put on. I started on the hard, then I need to put on the soft. Thank you. That will reduce the amount of errors I make. So that was, that was quite a nice little addition there. And in the end, this race got me a rather fine third place. Something that's also quite interesting as well is number nine, adjusted the steering sensitivity of the left stick and directional buttons when using a wireless controller. So this looks like they're trying to adjust how the controller feels and how it performs. But the controller's always been at a slight disadvantage, especially in terms of like tire wear. So let's hope that that actually makes a bit of a difference. I mean, that could be a full video in itself. But overall, an interesting update, I think it's fair to say. It's again, a shame that there is no new track. It's been a few months now. The last time we actually got any new tracks was in the March update where we got the Nürburgring shorts and the endurance layout and then in February we got the uh, Grand Valley update so I think it's fair to say that the updates are coming quite slow at the moment in terms of tracks something I referenced quite recently is this the update to the players this was sent back in uh, 25th of March 2022 and this was after all the kind of the outrage of the microtransactions and the economy in the game being really difficult to get money in the game uh, they changed quite a few things back then and some of the things that they they said they would do they have done you know being able to sell the cars addition of world circuit events and time trials um but there's the addition of endurance races to missions including 24-hour races and just things like that i mean that hasn't been added so i suppose you know we still have to be thankful these are free updates they are still adding to the game that we love However, I still think there is a lot more scope to be adding a lot more tracks. I think that when I look back to Gran Turismo Sport, it felt like they were adding tracks like every month for like a year and a half after the game came out. At least it felt that way. I think the cars are quite lacking as well. I mean, this update, we've added a Subaru Impreza and a Mitsubishi Evo, which are great cars. And we've already got quite a lot of that type of car. And so it'd be great to see a lot more race cars, you know, LMP1 cars up-to-date GT3 cars or GT4 cars I think would be great to see in this game and of course something they said they would add is the the missions um, these haven't been added to in quite a while um, we have the human comedy which was quite a good set of endurance races one hour each this was added about a year ago now or more than and so we haven't had any real additions to this mode and I think there's lots of potential with this mode so overall interesting update I'm not sure if it gives enough like pure actual content a lot of little fixes here and there but nothing to really really be crazily happy about but as ever please do let me know your thoughts and i'll catch you next time goodbye